welcome back. My name's Kia and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my process of creating a Celtic knot inspired border. This border is a pretty standard Celtic knot pattern. First I sketch out the design using a compass to measure out everything so it's reasonably even. I then draw a line down the middle of each border as well to keep the pattern centered. This border was made for an indie games company known as Eldritch Press, whose Instagram I'll link down below in the description. The border was used in one of their free D&D adventures in the credits section. The art style in the adventure is old school pen and ink, so my own style fitted in well. I find that borders are some of the hardest things to draw by hand because of how uniform you have to make things. This border has a lot of inaccuracies, but I think the overall result turned out as I intended. So next I just go over the outline in uh, felt tip fine liners. Here I'm using 0.1 microns. Of course, as you saw before, I did everything in gray lid to allow for corrections, which needless to say is very important. Next, I create a sense of depth within the border. I did this to make the border look a bit more like rough carved stone, as though the border was chiseled out of rock, or at least that's what I went for. To do this, just draw dashed lines up each side of the knot, the knots being the different sections of the border, uh, leaving a flat section on top. I then do a few random lines going the opposite way to make the edges seem a bit sharper and more stone-like. Hopefully you can see what I mean by this in the video. Be sure to draw each line confidently in singular strokes. This is typically the key to good pen and ink line quality. Finally, I go in and add some shadow tones with different shades of alcoholic markers. For this I used Copics, which were on special at Officeworks for like $2 each. Sadly, I don't think the stars will align again like that in my lifetime. Thanks for watching, and whatever you do, don't click away without liking the video, because I want to get money. So, see you guys next time.